they've just been in the box for however many years, 2016, so however many years that's been. Right. Bro, it's crazy. It's, it's wild, it sucks, bro. man. I mean, I, you can wipe it off. It does come back. Well, so, do you have Black Cat Force? No. Bro, no. It does it on those a little bit, too. Really? Yeah. That's that's stupid. That's it's stupid. crazy. I'm starting to see, like, new models. It's, like, it's starting to happen on. That's I'm insane. Like, it's, like, the Fragment 3s. Yeah. The oh, black really? leather on the toe and on really? the front. Really? Like, it's starting to do it. It's starting to crystallize on there. That sucks, man. Yeah, it's a bunch of different shoes, bro. Yo, my bad, guys. I actually completely forgot to show you while I was with DJ that I've got one more pair of sample sneakers, the Oregon 8s, that I won from GOAT. Crazy pair of shoes. The colorway is just insane. But uh, a really, really clean pair of PEs. Actually, the only pair of PEs that I actually own, which is cool. So, just want to show you guys that because it's like the best pair in my collection. I completely forgot about it. Uh, what else? J Balvin. We got the Wait, J Balvin. No, tell me about these Crocs, bro. Oh, yeah, yeah. So, these, <laughs> so these, so Crocs sent me these. <laughs> and these are the uh, the KFC Crocs. And they actually smell like, well, they're supposed to smell like chicken. They don't. They smell like cornflakes. Yeah, they but smell like, oh. They don't smell ooh. good, let me tell you. But uh, yeah, they're, they're wild, man. Like, this is the kind of shoe that I'd throw on if I was trying to. Um, I don't know. I probably never wear this at all. But <laughs> <I was gonna laughs> say, what you trying to do, though? <laughs> yeah, but they're like, hey, I appreciate the package, Crocs. Thank you. So, That's what's up. That's what's up. It's something, you know? Um, <laughs> <laughs> okay. What is this box? This that box is, is So dope. this is a, a, a joke. What is this? Oh, this is the Supreme New York Times article. I, I lost the Supreme part of the, the newspaper for some reason. Um, <laughs> this is the uh, the oh, Mountain Dew Joel Embiid this custom is dope. shoe. It's dope. dope. It was before Joel Embiid actually had a custom or a, a signature shoe with um, Under Armour. Okay. It's like a custom pair. It's got a bit of his jersey on the tongue, which is pretty sick. That's dope. Um, yeah, man, I'm a big uh, Sixers fan. Hopefully, JoJo stays with the Sixers. We'll see. But, That's fire. Yeah, man. Okay, so Jay Balvin's. That's what I was gonna. Jay Balvin's. Yep, love him. Um, what do you think? Black pair or the sale pair? Oh, dude, the sale pair. Sale pair, hundred percent, bro. It's all about that. These are fire. It's all about that light off white. Okay, color, so dude. where to go? Here it is. Everybody does this comparison. I get it. I, I get it. See, I see it. I see okay, it. so everybody compares these two shoes. Quality, similarity, right. all the different things. Right. Where do you stand when it comes to these two and the comparison? This one all day. And I like because oh, there's not like a lot of like um, sort of like dusty purple shoes out mm -hmm. there. And I mean, like Jordan quality is Jordan quality. Like it's not like a designer quality shoe. It's like it's what you, you get what you pay for. Right. When it comes, if you buy for retail. Right. So like um, you're not going to get like the best leather in the world. And they're all pretty similar. I would say some are nicer than others. But like, I don't know if you've seen Rose Anvil's channel, like on YouTube. He cuts shoes. That's the dude that cut the shoes down. Exactly. Yeah, or in the middle. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. And it's interesting interesting how some shoes that you wouldn't expect actually have nicer leather than others mm -hmm. um these ones i'm sure it's like pretty similar but like in terms of just visually like i just i just like this better mm -hmm. this one though that that fade on the outsole yeah or on the on the heel it's tab, actually funny when you put it side by side like this color is really close to yeah that's color. that's actually true that's a good point i never even noticed that that's a good point yeah the fade though is fire that's, that's next level dude. yeah but the black pair like you lose so much of the detail on the upper so i like i like this one because you get like the the yellow on the, the separation um, exactly yeah. yep. They yep. give you that union vibe right exactly, there with the yellow exactly. line. I like that. Yeah, man. yeah, dude. I love this shoe too. This shoe's this shoe's crazy. Okay, off white one. We got these guys. So these ones I spent full re uh, full resale on. I got them for nineteen hundred back when they first dropped. Ooh, Ooh wee. yeah. You was committed. <laughs> okay, so how do you make that decision of like I'm about to drop this bag on this pair of shoes? Because everybody has a different way of like justifying right, it. Right, exactly. And then like especially telling the wife or whatever, <laughs> exactly. you know what I'm saying? Like, how do you go about that thought process? <laughs> well, so this one was I was like, I was hype on off white ones, and I was like, yo, I'm gonna get a bunch of views if I spend the, re the resale on it right when they drop. So they had right. an early release on sneakers. Okay. Uh, I was I was taking a flight out to uh, Los Angeles to do like um some like a college had a, a couple like like Richie Lee was out like it was a couple YouTubers they had like out to give a talk. Okay. And I was like, yo, I could review them out there and I could wear them at the thing. So mm -hmm. I, I had a friend who got them on well not a friend but a guy I knew who got them on the sneakers app and I, I messaged him I was like, yo, can I buy this from you? He's like 1900 and he's like, I'll deliver them to the airport when you get to the airport though and I was like, dope, let's do it. Right. So I did it. And uh, I spent the 1900 thinking like, yo, this video, like, I didn't expect the video to make 1900, but I expected the video to like help recoup get, some, get of some of it. Yeah. Which was another one of those 30k videos, man. Let me tell you. <laughs> <laughs> so, like, okay, so. I made a couple hundred. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, I made like 300 bucks. I was like, dang. <laughs> so, uh, so hey, I got the review out of it. I think now it's probably it's doing okay, but like, you know, it's one of those shoes that I probably should have waited like a month because they dropped down to like 800 bucks. Yeah. That's it crazy. Really okay, so do you remember when not stock? I swear, StockX finessed everybody. Really? They did you see it when no, it happened? No, no. So basically, when those dropped, I remember they were like expensive, right? And they were like fifteen hundred, nineteen hundred, and then it went down to like eight hundred. And then did you see like for like a couple of days, it right. went down to like four fifty, five fifty, 
and they were That's like super crazy. low. Crazy. And I think what happened was they manipulated the market, right? And then they got everybody to sell, fire sell, right? And then they prices shot back up to like That's 850, ridiculous. like a day later. That's insane. And it was like all these pairs was going through on transactions. Right. I'm like, bro, I think they just bought them all themselves and then just resold them back to the people. That's crazy. The money. That's crazy. I swear that's what happened. Bro. I mean, I, I, seen it. I remember it when it yeah. happened. That's crazy. Yeah. It's this a, shoe is fire though. Like, I, I feel like it. everybody's got their story with this shoe yeah. right here for, in particular because yeah. it was more accessible than Chicago. Exactly. So exactly. Be, because of that, people went after this one. Yeah. And it's more wearable. Exactly. No, yeah. it is. And it was like, people weren't sure. Like I remember I was seeing like articles on the Chicago's before they dropped. Like this is this is trash. Like I'm not going to wear this. Like yeah. all the comments. It's going to fall apart. Everything. Yeah. Exactly. And then like when people couldn't get them, they're like, this is crazy. And then this shoe, like this is because the, the white pair was, I think the second pair that released, but it was only Europe, right? Right. And so, that was also those materials. Exactly. So people are like, even worse. It's exactly, all white. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Dude, and have you seen those pairs now, man? Yeah. Do you have a pair? Uh, I never, so I've had a couple, but not my size, and I've gotcha. always gotten rid of them. Gotcha. And that's the one in particular I don't really know if I want to have right. in my collection because right. I'm like, it's just going to keep yellowing. Yeah. Do I wear it? I don't know. Like, what's the point of spending all the money on it? Right. Like, exactly. That I don't know. Sense. It's not going to go up that much more in value. Like, that makes I'm going to be sitting on $3,000 for nothing. <laughs> like, that makes no sense to me. So, I don't know. Uh, uh, unions. You got, got the whole the pack. Yeah, we got the unions. Yeah, this is a, this is a pair that I proposed to my wife in. So, it's got that crease in it. Oh, only crease. on this foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah only on yeah. the one foot. <laughs> um, yeah, this is great. I was I was really stoked on this. It was 2018. I was like, yo, this this pair is sneaker of the year. I was like, yo, I proposed yeah. to my wife in this pair. So, I did. She, does, she likes sneakers but she doesn't really care so I could have worn anything okay. but like this pair is special for that reason um, but then I got the black toes and I was like yo these are even cleaner I should have like the, these so black, toe, the black toe is my favorite of the two me, me like, too I would prefer having like three pairs of these over both Dude, that's I, just me though yeah yeah, it's true it's true but, <laughs> it's true. I, I, if, but the set don't get me wrong the set is clean it is like, yeah and these two in particular are like the top of the union pack. Oh yeah, all the they union never releases. came back. To, like it was never like, as good it's just as this. Hard to beat that. No, well, the thing is, like they could have. I just don't. When it comes to sneakers, like in colorways, it's like there are so many obvious things you can do to make a sneaker like fire and yeah. go crazy. Yeah. But I wonder if there's some like if either people are trying to do something different and that's why it doesn't work out, or maybe Jordan brand like a certain colors that they don't let them use certain years because they've already dropped stuff that year. I don't know. But like, I, I I don't know if it's a conspiracy theory or whatever it is, but like, I feel like Jordan brand really does give them like way more oversight mm -hmm. in certain cases, just so that they don't overuse like the, like if I yeah. did a collab with Jordan brand, it would it'd be a Jordan one. It'd be something like these sorts of colors. Yeah. Um, not they, because, they definitely yeah. hold your hand and guide you through the exactly. process and yeah. keeping in your limits and all those different things. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Once. What yeah, we, we just got? got a bunch of ones. We got the, the Cactus Jack fragments. The only pair of Travis's I still have. I got rid of all my other Travis's. Really? Yeah. Just what made you decide to do that? I just, I never wore them. Yeah. This is the only pair I wore. Okay. I, I always wanted the fragment ones too. So this is kind of that. Yeah. So I like these. that. I like that. Uh, we got the 2016. Oh, sorry. My bad. Exactly. The 2016 uh, Air Jordan ones. This is the first pair I ever bought on GOAT. I got them for like 300. Okay. And I just, I haven't, I don't wear them much because even then, like back then I was like $300 is the most I ever spent on a pair of sneakers. Like I, I can't wear it too it's much. It's funny when people hear you say that. I know, $300, I know. They're like, I know. what? That's crazy. <laughs> like before, before YouTube, like I was only buying sneakers for retail. Okay. And I wouldn't keep them, like I wouldn't, I wouldn't buy them if they weren't for retail. Okay. So this is like the first pair I ever bought on GOAT. Uh, the second pair, which I think I bought on StockX instead around the same time, was the shattered backboards. Okay. But I got these for actually like, I think it was like 280 or something like that okay. because they're a size eight and a half. I can still fit them. I have to just wear them on lace. But also one one side of the pair has a um, like a defect on the bottom. Oh yeah, it's right there. So uh, it's got like this little chunk out of the outsole. Somebody took a bite out of so, it. Exactly. So, so they were on goat and uh, it was like a defect pair. And I was like, shoot, I'll just grab them. Right. And it's just a dope pair of shoes. That's what's up. Yeah. That's what's up. And okay. we got my favorite shoe of all time, the uh, the bread ones. The I bread have, ones. Dude, yeah. That, I love that, bro, because I truly think the breads are better than the Chicago's. I completely agree. But, yeah, 100%. you know, everybody gas up the Chicago's. I'm exactly. like, I get it. But like, the breads are better to me. I don't know. Exactly. I feel the same way. This is a pair that I wear. I have oh, yeah. the other pair on ice. You put your work in it. Yeah. <laughs> I like that. Yeah. I like that. But dude, the other pair I had, the other pair on ice was supposed to be like my pair to break out whenever, like, you know, and, and you know, ten years or whatever, but now it's covered in like crabs. So yeah, like, you wipe it down, you'll be all right. You'll be all right. Cool. Yeah, it's good to know. It's good to know. Lost and found. We got the lost and found. Yep, yep. Dope pair of shoes. I think yeah. this is this is a reimagine that was done well. Like it's not as I still would prefer the regular Chicago's, but can't be mad at. I this. like how they went about the uh, yeah. wings logo. Completely agree. Instead Completely of like agree. with the raised, instead of like the stamp on there. Yeah, I love that. Give I it love that more that. premium cut or that feel, like that '85 one. I completely agree. No, this is a sneakers W, actually. Yeah. Crazy. Yeah. That's what's up. Yeah, That's dude. What's up. I should have bought multiple pairs of these because these were cheap for uh -huh. a while, dude. Uh -huh. It was nuts. And then we got the uh, another pair of beat ones down here, the Royals. 
I have trouble getting them. Like, right, no way. Just imagine like a beat pair of 20 East. Yeah, just imagine. Royals, 27 Royals. Down there. <laughs> yeah, it's like, <laughs> get out of here. <laughs> okay. Um, yeah, man. What we got on this side? So on this here. side, this is sort of the New Balance, like a D Day section. Um, we got uh, this is this pair is crazy. So this pair was actually sent to me by New Balance. This is the Joe Fresh Goods okay. nine nine twos. These are clean. These are clean, bro. These, these clean. go for like two grand now. Really? Yeah, dude, it's what? crazy. I had no idea. I just liked them. Ah, I just liked them. That's fire. And dude, I, I, they're crazy. So I actually got to meet Joe Fresh Goods like at a, at a New Balance event one time, and I was wearing them. He's like, Yo, you're the only other person I've seen in like a year wearing these. I'm like, Dude, they're fire. Yeah. Like there was apparently only like a thousand pairs of these or something. Maybe that's why they're so really? expensive. But they're yeah, crazy. bro. It's so funny. I talk about that all the time. Like. Yeah shoes the scale like on different brands yeah like yeah. there could be a thousand of these right right and even like uh dornbecker there's yep. like ten thousand of those yep and it's like that's a limited release but yep. it's like 10 times bigger than what it is in a different brand so totally. Like, totally they might do like a semi limited or even a broader release right and they might do like twenty thousand pairs yep yep, and people yep. Are like damn it's available everywhere i'm like how <laughs> like it's crazy because the other brand is uh, nike or jordan they're doing 500,000 right. pairs, 250,000 pairs. Totally. It's like a whole different skill totally. of the game. Like it's wild. Yeah, man. But this is this pair, I've worn a bunch and it's got a pretty durable outsole. So this this going to keep going for a while. Yeah, that's going to be good. Any shoe with a black outsole. Yes. I love that. Completely agree. <laughs> we got the, oh, we got the white cements that I was talking about earlier. We got uh, we got these ALD New Balance 550s. We got the Salehi, um, Salehi Crocs. I'm not, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say, but yeah, Salehi sent me these, dude. Oh, for real? Yeah, yeah. Dude, up. I'm a huge Salehi fan. <laughs> I'm a huge Salehi. And it was before it was before he sent me these. So this is crazy. Uh, unfortunately, I told him the wrong size. So I said a size nine, not realizing that Crocs fit a size big. Oh. So they don't really fit that well. But it's like flopping it around in them. They, oh, they flop. They oh, flop no. around. It's crazy. <laughs> um, we also got the Salehi, uh, Salehi 2002Rs right here, which are dope. Mm, Solid okay, pair of sneakers. Yeah, super clean, super yeah. clean. We got the um, off-white. Air Forces, the uh, the neon pair, which I actually didn't like, but then I got my pair of wife, uh, my wife a pair in the Philippines, and I saw her rocking them. And they're she's, clean. She makes everyone everything look good, and, and they're like, comfortable, dude. They're crazy. Way better than the other forces. Yeah, I got him the black pair. He's like, oh nice. These are my favorite ones. These so comfortable. I'm like, I told you they're nice. They solid. <laughs> I need the black <laughs> pair too. Yeah, dude, but they're beat. They're beat. I like that. I like that. Right? Honestly, I, they look good like that. Though. I agree. I yeah. agree. I completely agree. I feel that. We got uh, we got some A6, dude. I've been feeling the A6 wave recently. The okay. A6, uh, the Gel Keanu 14s. Okay. The cream and uh, birch colorway. Not birch. The cream and um, metallic plum. We got the New Balance uh, ALD 1906Rs. Okay. Super clean shoe. A 2000 running sneaker vibe. We got uh, a pair of 3D printed shoes from... Um, I forget the name. Atrion, I think is the. Oh, uh, I've seen these before. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, by Zellerfeld is the 3D printing company. That's, I think they're based out in Germany. Okay. It's crazy. It's a dope pair of shoes. Um, we got the other pair of Salehis that I have. I, I've gone through so many Salehi Crocs. I just rock them and then they get beat and then I get rid of them. Um, this is the white pair that I actually, I actually do have in my size. So I've actually been wearing this pair. Okay. Um, but it's the winner. Sorry, so, right, out of ten, how comfy are they actually? I mean, they're Crocs. <laughs> I don't know. I never had tried try really? Crocs before. Just face. Let, me, let me try them out really quick. I don't remember. It's been let like me try them out real quick. <laughs> seven or eight. They're okay, fine. that's fine. That's fine. They're like a pair of slides. Oh no, people be gassing them up. I'm like, no, oh, they're no. not like they're not. They're fine, but they're okay, <laughs> they're okay. not like that, you know. Uh, we got the Heron Preston uh, Zellerfeld 3D printed shoes. Okay, yeah, it's pretty wild. It's mm -hmm. crazy because the upper feels like fabric, dude. What do you wear these to? In my house by myself. Oh, okay. <laughs> so let, me, let me take the trash out. Right <laughs> yeah, exactly. No, legit though. Uh, we got the dude, the big bubbles. Mm. The recent releases are crazy, man. Yes. I love these. These are so. That's clean. a good one right there. It really is, man. It didn't get the love that it deserved. I mean, it got it got some love. Yeah. But I think people have forgotten about them. Yeah. Um, we've got a sample pair of uh, Pharrells that Adidas sent over. Oh, dope. Pretty cool. Okay. Pretty cool. I didn't even, did these ever drop? I think they did, but I just, I it was, know. no one really cared about them. Right. I feel that. <laughs> Which is actually. His stuff, his stuff like was hot. What was that? 27 to 18? Yeah. It was like right around when Yeezys were, were yeah. like crazy. Yeah. Um, I actually have a bunch of sample Pharrells, but like Adidas sent them to me right when, it, when like all the hype was gone. So like, oh, these are dope. I they're like dope. Colorway, yeah. the, the colorway is sick. Like, yeah. it's, if they had been dropping this like when it was hot, like this would have been it's nuts. Like a, oh, this is not even like a chenille. It's like what yep. is this? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know, but it's what fire. Is that? That's I crazy. really like it. There's a couple other like he sent me or they sent me um a couple of the uh, the nerd samples, but this Ooh. is a pair that everyone has. You know what yeah. I mean? Like, but it doesn't matter. Like for me, it's just cool that they sent me like a sample. Like that's yeah, crazy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm never gonna get rid of these. That's dope. They sent me yeah, that pair up too, or that pair up there too. Mm -hmm. Um. 
Well, they sent me this. I think they sent me a lot of samples for some reason. That's what's up. <laughs> they sent me these guys before they dropped the S1s, the NMD S1s. This is also a friends and family pair, so this colorway never dropped. Okay. Which is crazy. I did wear these a couple times, um, but I cleaned Those them Those are like so. perfect for out here. Exactly. Like yeah. literally it's snowing right now. Yep. Yep. Yeah. Like you clean, get the man. all terrains. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> I like that. Uh, what else we got? We got the. Uh, Yo, shout out to Bodega in uh, in Boston. They they Ooh. they're dope, man. They sent me this friends and family pair of forums. Okay, it's uh two thirty at three thirty three. They're awesome, man. They're good people. Those over are there. clean. Yeah, they're fire. Really yeah, they're, great. they're real nice. Yeah, these, these never got nice. a these. I can tell just dude, by looking at them. Yeah, they never got they never got a public release. That's what weird. I love about Adidas, man. And New Balance yep. and other brand, basically all the other brands. Yep. they be coming correct when it comes to the materials, mm -hmm. bro. Exactly. And it's wild because you can get a dope shoe mm -hmm. for like. 120 bucks. Exactly. And then you exactly. gotta buy some J's for like 450. Oh, no, dude. And it'd be like not as good. And everyone has them. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 Like I, I'm definitely, as I get older, I'm definitely leaning more into like the stuff that's just weird and, and like kind of wild. Mm -hmm. Like I have the, uh, the those new Yeezy socks. Okay. That are stupid. Oh, bro, like, I ordered them. Did you? Yeah, you I got had to, bro. I saw it's like 20 bucks. I'm like, bro, I gotta do it. Well, good luck waiting three months to get them. Yeah. <laughs> it takes like, forever, bro. I was like, I had to do it. Do you have them in here? I do. I have them upstairs. I can grab them. Okay. In a second. Uh, we got a couple of different pairs of Yeezys. We got just like the basic stuff. We got the reflective 350s, okay. the foam runners, and the 700s. That's pretty much it. Like we got a couple of the pairs that I made with the, with the. I was say you still got your, your own shoe. about these. So the thing was with these, I like these a lot. Mm -hmm. But the company that uh, that I made them with kind of screwed me over and screwed some people over. So I've, I've been like. Yo, not about them recently. <laughs> <laughs> Basically, like, yeah, I wasn't really gonna show these, but, uh. yeah, yeah. but these these were cool for me. This was a big deal because it was like it was the first show I ever got to design. I, I did a bunch of colorways. Um, they didn't sell very well, which mm -hmm. makes sense. Uh, but um, the problem was is for the first like year of, of our partnership, like everything was going cool, and then I think they had some money issues or something, and the company just disappeared. Mm -hmm. And there were still like thirty orders that weren't fulfilled. Damn. Um, so I ended up just paying. For Paying the people back myself, right? Because I was like, I can't like promote something that I made and then you buy it and then right, you never right, get right, it because right, it was right. like two hundred dollars. Yeah. So I lost. They I actually they never paid me and I lost a couple grand. There you go. Uh, so that was great. Good day at the office. <laughs> exactly. Exactly. <laughs> Uh, but that's like the one controversy I've ever had, and I felt awful. Like I felt terrible. I couldn't sleep about it, dude. Yeah. It, was, it was awful. Um, not a, it wasn't a controversy. It was just like some some business screwed me over. Uh, and then we got these sample MCM Pumas. Okay. Which I sent over a while. Those ago. are clean. Yeah, they're not bad. Yeah, they're not bad. Wow. Um, I think they sent these over. What year was it? 20, 2018. Okay. Twenty eighteen. Yeah. Dope. Yeah, I like those. Yeah, not too bad. Not too bad. But that's pretty much everything. Oh, you know what? I can grab. Oh, yo. I just picked these up. I was about to say, I was just looking what do you at think those. Of these? those are, I like those too. I do too. Man. Yeah. I, really, I really mess with these. What is this, like a yeah, plastic? Or yeah. Is, yeah. It's weird, dude. It's, yeah. I like these way better than the standard um, pluses. Yeah, and the gum bottom is a good hit on there. Bro, they're heavy too. Have you felt them? Uh-uh. They're literally like, it's a heavy boy. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, let me go grab the Yeezy socks. Really. Okay. He's, He's grabbing the Yeezy socks. I'm going to show you guys the clock while Oh, yeah. Check out that. the clock. So, he has a series on the channel. If you look over here, this way. Um, I don't know if you guys can see Air Jordan 1 goes all the way around to Air Jordan 12. So basically he started with 20 bucks and uh, he was able to get all this stuff completed. And he's got the Nike Air pair on the Air Jordan 5. Let's see if he's got this one. Is it Jumpman or Nike Air? Okay, we got Jumpman on here. Okay. Uh, also, he got some sixes. He do got some sixes. The infrareds. I like that. That's my favorite right there. Let's see. Oh, oh yeah. Too. Yeah, here they are. Yeezy this socks. right here is the Yeezy. What? Wait, what? They're called Yeezy socks. They're called the Yeezy pods. Uh, Yeezy pods. Yeah, Yeezy pods. Yeah. So they fold up like this, <laughs> bro. You know, honestly, I was like, girls going to the club. Yeah, for like, real. That was my first thing. I for was real. Like, yeah. They tripping about heels and everything. Yep. They yep. need to leave these in their purse. For real. For twenty bucks, absolutely. Not for two hundred, like they originally priced. Like not for what I bought them for, but. This is like. Yeah, they're crazy. I've been wearing these. these are, I wore these all week too, so they're a little uh, more worn in than are I. Are you think. doing like a full wear test yeah, thing? Yeah, full wear test. Yeah. Okay. I ran like a track in them. Like I did all the stupid stuff in them. <laughs> it's so ridiculous, man. But how they feel? They're fine. They feel exactly what you think they feel like. Oh, it's they feel like soft though. It's yeah. They got, got an insole in there. It's like a, it's like a sock with like an insole inside. Oh, and then all you've the way got, through. Yeah. All the way through, and then you've got this rubber pod on the bottom, and that's. I mean, it, whatever you think it feels like is exactly. It feels like a barefoot shoe. It feels like a barefoot gotcha. shoe. Yeah. Uh, but it's cool. Yeah, this it's is cool. wild. Step on a rock. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. This is wild. Damn, this is crazy. Okay. Yeah, I ordered my pair. I don't know when they'll arrive. They're uh, there's something, man. There's something. That's but crazy. they, uh, you know, you you, you got to give it to Kanye. Like he literally always does the most insane stuff, and mm -hmm. I'm about it. Like I kind of like 
I might not agree with everything he says, but his shoes, dude, he's literally on another level. Business wise. Yeah. Yeah. The dude, like, he yeah. knows what he's doing. Yeah. Like, uh, the whole thing where this is priced 200 bucks and then dropped 20 bucks, I'm sure that was planned. Yeah. Like, it's gotta be. Yeah. Um, and, dude. And then, like, refunding everybody. Exactly. And the Super the Bowl ad, bad. dude. Yeah. Like, genius, bro. Crazy. He made so much. Okay. He really did. We're already in here, too. Yes. So, yes. turn the camera this way, real quick. Let's get on the set. Oh, yeah, yeah. We're on set right now. This is what it looks like on his set. Hey, we're on the set. <laughs> <laughs> so this is your set right here. Set, yep. So you got yep. your camera over here, your yep. boom mic set up over here, yep. and then um, this is your shoot. Are you B-roll over that's here? That's right. Do the B-roll. So yep. this side. Um, what uh, do you run? Two angles. Sometimes, sometimes, but I, I'm really like I try for me. Like I try and churn out as many videos as possible. So the yeah. more angles I add, the more difficult. It's more it's editing. Edit. Yeah, exactly. It's a process. Yeah. So I, I've started working with some editors, um, but it's just it's just expensive like to send them every video. So I try and still like keep the stuff that. Yeah, in the process of like sending over the files. Exactly. You just have to label everything. Exactly. Yeah, I it's, get that. It's like just as long as editing the video. So if I want to edit that's better than what I can do, I'll send it to my editor. Mm -hmm. But um, a lot of times, like it's just if if I'm doing a sneaker review, like I've done it for you know, 10 years, so it's easy. to And just it's kinda super like time sensitive. Exactly. Yeah. Like with the Yeezy pods, like I got these in at like three in the afternoon, I think. Uh, I filmed the on foot outside before it got dark and then I posted the video at like nine. Mm -hmm. um, that's, I mean, like it wasn't like a full on review. It was just like, a, this is what they initial, like what they feel like. Yeah, when first look, feet. Yeah. first impressions. Um, but yeah. Oh, test. Yep. oh, this is gonna be interesting. I love it, I love it. Okay, so yeah. everything is uh, covered in here. Yeah. You said, oh, you got the big red boots right here too. Oh yeah. I didn't even see that. I had to buy these if I was gonna <laughs> if I was gonna say I was a sneaker reviewer because I had to try them out. Bro, you know the problem is I don't even know if they make them in my size. They don't because I when I looked before they I seen a 12. I kept seeing a 12. 12 Your foot 12. would get stuck anyway. Yeah. I'm like, <laughs> like if I tried worried. that, I probably wouldn't be, you have to like cut my foot out of yeah, there. Yeah, right. Like, actually be down bad so oh okay is there anything else you wanted to show you got stuff in your office anything? oh yeah you can you see could? it there's not really i don't really do any filming in there but you okay. guys you can uh definitely check it out this is the other channel uh no this is just pure oh like yeah this edits. is just work it's a little messy here but uh just was this mess. a previous backdrop uh no it's just, just it's the same um same shelf i have in the other oh, okay yeah okay. we got my uh, my nerdy stuff my legos we got the the plaque uh um, fire and then i do some streaming from here, 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 here and there. yeah dude um but that's pretty much it that's dope, pretty much it dope. Do oh you do uh streaming too? I, I suck I've at tried streaming, it, bro. Yeah, it's too. not that's for me. I like I bought a PC to do streaming with, and then I did it like three times, and I was like, okay, that's all right. Iverson, bro, got oh the, yeah, dude, yeah, yeah. Bro, Iverson got the, that. Man. Uh, I also also said the yeah. Iverson in the shack. Shoot. Yeah, oh yeah, the Iverson in the shack. I ain't gonna lie, um, I'm trying to see you hit that guitar for like. Oh bro, man, I'm terrible, man, I'm terrible. Man. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's. Oh, dude, uh, oh, we, oh wait, shout out Lamar Jackson. Oh shoot, the best quarterback of all time. Hold up. Best quarterback of all time. What, for the Ravens? We deal. Yeah, of course. <laughs> <laughs> Just for the Ravens, right? Two-time MVP. Wait, how many MVPs does Ben Roethlisberger have? That's crazy. <laughs> how many Super Bowls do you got? Joe Flacco has a Super Bowl. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man. Oh, uh, shoot. Uh, Classic. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate it, bro. Yeah, man. We got a long I'm day true. today. What time is it? Oh, I think yeah, our food's true. been sitting outside. Perfect time oh, to go. Oh, true that, true that. Is it the snow? Uh, I appreciate oh, you, bro. Dude, yeah, Thanks appreciate for having Thank you so much for coming out. Yes, dude. it was really fun. It. Make sure you guys check out his channel. I have everything linked down below. I appreciate it, man. Socks and everything. He said he's running 80% off for you guys. <laughs> 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 I'll link no, extra 80% added on for Steelers. So, <laughs> yeah. Yeah. so I'll, I'll link everything down below with the website and everything for you guys. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, this is another one. Sweet, man. Yeah, I, right, appreciate it. Out. I appreciate it. I would never let you down. Yo, if you made it to the end of this video and want to take your collection to the next level, I built a full community with private meetups with me and other members in the community as well. So if you want to be a part of that and get early access or behind the scene looks on how I run my businesses, this is definitely going to be a place where I can help you scale your collection and potentially start investing in other things outside of sneakers like real estate. So hit the link down below in the description and get signed up and I'll see you guys on the inside. Hey, Bobby, hey, the only hey, choice Bobby. I like to make what I'm aware it's today. One of those. One I would those. never let you down. It's in my DNA. The only choice I like to make what I'm aware today. I was made for it. It's in the 